Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In this episode, I'll show you how to use smart markers to automatically trigger actions as the playhead crosses certain points in your project. Before we get started, I'd like to highlight a few things that have happened over the past week. On Friday, March 25th, my drum editing and Reaper course was released on ProMix Academy. It's currently being offered at a deeply discounted price. Be sure to check the link in the description and pick up your copy today. I also had the opportunity to create some Reaper content for Produce Like a Pro, as well as be on live stream with Warren Hewart. Check the links in the description for both of those videos. Now let's get started. As I said in the intro, Smart Markers gives you the ability to automatically fire off actions as your playhead crosses certain markers in your project. This feature does require SWS extension. If you're not familiar with SWS extension, click the link above to learn more. My initial reason for even thinking about this for a video idea was a question from a user on Discord. The user was asking about creating subdivisions in the metronome. The metronome in Reaper, in my opinion, does leave a bit to be desired. In the past, I've used a combination of Reasynth and my own MIDI items to create better subdivisions and customized metronomes. In this user's case, he simply needed the timing of the metronome to be doubled in certain portions of the song. My current blank project is set at 120 beats per minute, and if I go to my metronome, we can turn that on. Now that I've got my metronome enabled, I want to make sure that you're actually able to hear that. I'll send that out of the stereo out. And I also need to send that through monitor effects so that it hits re-stream. Let's test that and make sure it's working. And it's working as it should, and you should have heard that. Now let's say at measure 3, I'd like to double up my metronome. Reaper recently added the ability to set your metronome pattern to either 1 speed, 2 speed, or 4 speed. Those options are exposed in your actions list. So if I click on actions and show action list, I'll search for metronome. And we see here options set metronome speed to 1x, 2x, or 4x. What's important to note here are these command IDs. For smart markers to work, you simply add a marker to the desired point in the timeline, and for the name of the marker, use an exclamation point followed by the command ID. In this case, I want to use set metronome speed to 2x. I can right click that action and choose copy selected command ID. Now I'll close my actions list and I'll place a marker here at measure three with shift M. And for my name, I'll use exclamation point and paste in that command ID. I'll hit okay and we've got our marker with that command ID. Let's go back to measure 2, and when we play this back, we should hear our 120 beats per minute at 1 speed, and once we cross this marker, the metronome should go to 240 beats per minute. Or if you'd like to think about it in terms of subdivisions, it's still at 120 beats per minute, but just using eighth notes instead of quarter. Let's see if this works. And that worked exactly as expected. The problem with this now is that my metronome is now set to that subdivision for the rest of the project, and the dog's barking. I'd like to return back to one speed at measure four. Let's go back to our actions list. We'll filter for metronome once again. And we'll copy the command ID for set metronome speed to one X. Close the actions list and we'll add another marker at measure four, again using shift M. You can add a marker by just pressing the letter M on your keyboard, but shift M also prompts you for the name in the same step. I'll use exclamation point and paste in the command ID that we copied from the actions list. And now our metronome should go to double speed on measure three and return to normal speed at measure four. We'll start at measure two and take a listen. As you just heard, our metronome was actually playing at double time even though I didn't want it to. The reason for this is these commands are actually states for the metronome. So it's probably important that at the beginning of the project, I add a marker and give it that same command for single speed to ensure that each time I go back to this other section that my metronome plays like I wanted it to. Now when I go to measure two, it should be in single speed, then switch to double speed at the next marker, and then go back to single speed at the next marker. Of course, once again, that didn't work because my playhead has not passed over this marker yet. Let's go back to the beginning. And now it's working as I wanted it to. That can cause a little bit of complication if you're using this for metronome purposes, but since I made those mistakes, I felt it important to leave that in the video just to show you some things that you may run into. Now let's start at measure two. We should have single speed, followed by double speed at measure three, and finally returning to single speed at measure four. You can use smart markers not only for the metronome tricks like we just did here, but for literally any action that you find in the actions list. Let's filter for metronome one more time. 
if I can spell it. And here we see there's an option to enable or disable a metronome. Let's say at the next measure, which would be measure 5, I'd like to just turn off the metronome. Once again, I'll copy the command ID from here, close my actions list, and at measure 5, place a marker with the command ID to turn off the metronome. We'll start back at measure 2 and see what happens. And as you can see and hear, the metronome has been turned off. These were very simple examples, but hopefully you can see that you have a lot of options at your fingertips using smart markers, particularly if you're using Reaper for live performances. You can use the markers to mute effects, change plugin parameters, and do all sorts of things. So now that you've learned about this powerful feature, what kind of things do you plan to try to use smart markers for? Leave a comment below. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee, sure wish I had some coffee to put in this water today, or Patreon link below. Visit us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. Oh, you're still here.